Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Wherever you may be um, on in the diaspora, I want to welcome you to the mental house and I want to thank you for being here. Um, this is probably something that a lot of y'all can relate to um, that are of black and brown hue. Um, and I don't know if anybody else cares. But as I was talking to some people, I think it was on Twitter. I don't know where it was. It's amazing to me, and I have to call out for those of y'all who are under the sound of my voice. Um, thank God that you are on the planet at this time and in this space right here because there's work for you to do right here. The fact that you on the planet at this time where all this stuff is happening, on the other side of it is a new world. And as Dr. King said, I might not get there with you, but it's a new world coming. And there are some of us that are not going to make it to the new world. Some of us, we don't even want to make to the new world. Especially like that. Never mind. I won't, I won't deviate. And I'm saying that to say it's very difficult for some people to allow you, and y'all know when I say some people, that's the um, the oppressor, the elite. It's hard for them to let us go because they our, our failure, everything is baked into the system. See, in order for them to be successful, they need somebody to shit on, to dump on. Um, and our lineage, our experience is basically baked into the trauma of America. If they don't use black bodies to fill up the prisons, then they won't have private prisons. And that's a uh, part of the economy that won't survive. If they don't um, shoot us down and do other things to keep their foot on our proverbial throats physically and emotionally and mentally, then they cannot have the type of Frankenstein monsters that they used to have it when we were um, chattel slaves. But we never did accept slavery. And that's one thing the dominant society knows. You would have never had the Nat Turners. and We never did get comfortable with this craziness that you guys are, have tried to put on us. To try to control us and beat us and bake us into your failures as a nation. So you had to start a country on craziness and make us the brunt of it. And you wasn't uh, thoughtful enough to think that it wasn't going to last for years and years and years and years. You did it for 400 years. And this is the next phase of it. And what's happening is you didn't bake on people being your greed and the way the society is because we work right alongside of these our counterparts, which are white. At some point, over the years and over the years, over the years, the white people start seeing that they're slaves too. To you and your greed and what you want. Uh, there's no um, sight to me uh, like a Appalachian or some of those people working in those coal mines when you talk about poverty. Um I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter. You know what I'm talking about. That. That's poor. Right? And your failure is baked into the system as well. The lies they told you. That they was bringing coal back. <laughs> all the bull crap. We're all slaves. All of us. We're just the ones that they hunt down more than they hunt you down. And you shouldn't be happy about that. What you should do, in my humble opinion, 
is focus on what we have that's in common. Don't let somebody keep you focusing on what's different about us because what's going to happen is that's going to destroy the civilization because you can't keep sustaining this anger. You can't keep sustaining this hatred and everything. <laughs> you know, some people say, yes, you can. You can go to war. Look at some countries been to war for 400, 500 years. That's true. It's true. Like what's happening in Lebanon. Or, you know, I get it. But that's um, almost like uh, what we do. It's not like what's happening on that Gaza Strip. It's not like that. And it can get like that. It can get like that right here. But at some point, America has, uh, the lay people has got to realize and they have got to come together on knowing that the jig is up. I love what they did in Kenosha. I don't want to talk about nobody saying, you know, what they could have did and this, that, and the other. I'm glad for what y'all did do. Because, you know, people can always tell you what you should have did, what you could have done and all that. No, you know, yeah, that's true. Probably so. Who cares? But what you did do was powerful. I think the fact that when Donald Trump came there and what he did was he tried to stir up his, some rebel rousers. And when he saw y'all having a goddamn block party, wasn't nothing he can do about it. We're having a block party, all of us. We don't expect the cops to stop by, of course. But you are not going to divide the people. The people. It's we the people. Not we the elite. We the, go we the damn people. And the people have to start taking their power back. The people have to understand how powerful they really are. And you start by taking your power back individually. Focus on your own house and your own temple and do what's right by you. And do what's right by and if you do what's right by you and do what's right by your neighbor, they won't have no war. They'll be out there. Then wouldn't it be great to see the elite fight each other? <laughs> Putin and Donald Trump. Out in the middle of a courtyard with a butter knife. I love it. I love it. And all the rest of those nuts. Put them in a courtyard. Okay, okay. I'll give them a steak knife. But them and all the people that think like that. <laughs> give them. Give them. I mean, there's never going to be a perfect world. But when you have a world where people are fanning flames to hate and kill, and maim. No. I don't really want to sustain that type of hatred, and I don't really think anybody in their right mind want to keep sustaining that. Some people wonder how long they can take with Donald Trump doing this, and I contend it's going to get worse. So I contend you got to saddle up, get stronger, mentally and physically. Because they realize that we no longer want to be baked into their, pop, their system of poverty. We no longer are accepting this. We no longer want, they're going to have to finally reckon with the original sin. And I know old habits die hard. They don't want to, they don't want to deal with it. They want to keep putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. But it ain't going to work. 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 This is not the new form of slavery to take care of y'all. This is not. We don't want it. As a matter of fact, we want what you owe us. And we want y'all to leave us alone. That's what we want. We want equality. We want the same rights as our counterparts. We want to be able to walk up and down and drive up and down the street without you pulling your goddamn uh, sirens on and turning us up. For no reason. And then when you shoot us down, you go, why are you so hostile? Gaslighting. That's what is happening. You are finding now that the jig is up. And what you going to do now? 
Ain't nothing like a a, a, a cornered cat. Y'all know that. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping because I have a tendency to do that in my old age. <laughs> so y'all let me know. How y'all feel about this? Is it me? Am I tripping? Especially, especially you, Tokyo. I know you out there. Tell me. Tokyo, tell me. Tell me what you think. Tafrica. Tell me. Tell me what you think. All right. Y'all, please, uh, like the video. Share the video. And... I'll see you in the next video.